The Yuzu Nintendo Switch emulator emerged as a beacon for gamers who wanted to experience Nintendo Switch games on their PCs. Developed by the creators of the Citra 3DS emulator, Yuzu made headlines for its robust performance and compatibility with a wide range of Switch titles. However, its journey has been met with legal challenges, culminating in a shutdown due to a lawsuit from Nintendo. Yuzu's performance was a testament to the developer's expertise. It was capable of running heavy hitters like Super Mario Odyssey, Mario Maker 2, and the Pokemon franchise with commendable stability. The emulator supported Vulkan and OpenGL graphic modes, catering to different user preferences and hardware capabilities. The emulator offered a user-friendly interface with themes like Midnight Blue, Light, and Dark, making it accessible to a broad audience. It allowed the setup and registration of multiple user accounts, which was a boon for shared systems, or those who like to keep their gaming profiles separate. Yuzu came packed with features that enhanced the gaming experience. It supported both online and local multiplayer functionalities, bringing the communal joy of Nintendo games to the PC platform. The emulator was compatible with Linux and Windows operating systems, ensuring a wide reach. Yuzu maintained a comprehensive list of compatible games, each tagged with a color-coded indicator reflecting its level of compatibility. Despite its technical achievements, Yuzu faced scrutiny over legal and ethical concerns. The the emulator facilitated the playing of games without owning the actual Nintendo Switch console, which raised questions about piracy. Nintendo's lawsuit and the subsequent shutdown of Yuzu underscored the delicate balance between emulation as a form of preservation and the potential for copyright infringement. The Yuzu community was active and supportive, contributing to the emulator's development and troubleshooting. However, with the shutdown, the community faces uncertainty about the future of Switch emulation on PC. Yuzu was a groundbreaking emulator that pushed the boundaries of what's possible in game emulation. It provided an excellent service to gamers, but ultimately, it could not overcome the legal hurdles posed by copyright laws. The emulator's shutdown is a significant loss to the emulation community and serves as a reminder of the ongoing debate surrounding digital ownership and copyright. The legacy of Yuzu will likely influence future emulation projects and its impact on the gaming community will not be forgotten. For now, enthusiasts and developers alike will be watching closely to see how the landscape evolves in the wake of Yuzu's closure. This review reflects on Yuzu's capabilities, the joy it brought to gamers, and the complex issues it encountered. It's a story of innovation, community, and the ever-present tension between technology and intellectual property law.